One of the most important decisions that a forage producer needs to make is to determine which forage species that they want to use. And, and once they make that decision, uh, they have to decide which variety of that species that they want to use, because literally there could be dozens of varieties to choose from. So one of the things that we like to do at the University of Tennessee Institute of Agriculture is to provide information that helps producers make those decisions. The UT Beef and Forage Center, which we're part of the Institute of Agriculture, we conduct variety trials, which takes uh, a lot of different varieties of uh, species and we test them under the same growing conditions to see how they perform in Tennessee. The way we conduct these studies is that we acquire the seed from all of the different varieties and then we plant them in one of these replications. So each of the varieties are planted side by side. And then if you look behind here, you can see we have a second replication that contains all the varieties again side by side. Now they're in a different order this time. And then we also run a third replication. So what happens is that each variety is planted in three different plots across this test. So the first step in this process is actually planting. So for each species, we have a recommended time that we plant them. So we work the ground up and we plant these in the small plots by hand. Uh, we come in and we cult a pack behind that. The next step in the process is the fertilization. So we follow UT recommended practices uh, for fertilization for each one of these species. And so we pull a fertilizer gandy across each of these plots to make sure that all the, the different varieties get fertilized exactly the same. Then once the forages are established and ready to harvest, then we come in with a, uh, a flail type harvester and we mow in the center of each one of these plots. And so since we know the width that we're mowing and the length of the plot, when we harvest that material, we can calculate how many pounds per acre or how many tons per acre of forage that is produced. So once we've harvested the forage from each one of the plots and we know what each plot uh, yielded, then we take that data and we put it into the computer and we run a statistical analysis so that we can compare how each variety yielded. To be able to see that data, we, you can go to the UT Beef and Forage Center website, which is just utbeef.com, and if you look under the research tab, you can see the forage variety trials and you can see the list of all the different variety trials that we run. So if we take one of these, let's just say the Cool Season Annual Grass Report from 2015, then you can see this report. And so we'll uh, list all the different varieties that were in the test. You can see the different dates that they were harvested and what the yield was from each one of those dates. And then also we will show the total yield for that season. In order to be able to interpret this data, we need to be able to look at the yields and then uh, determine, based on the statistical analysis, how these varieties compare to each other. So if we just look at uh, these four varieties right here, what you can see is that uh, they averaged yielding between basically slightly over two tons to the acre up to over four. And so if you want to know which were the best yielding varieties, then what you do is you look for the star right next to the, to the yield. What that star is telling you is that variety yielded equal to the highest yielding variety in the test. There was no statistical difference. But if you see a yield that does not have a star, that is indicating that the analysis showed this was not one of the higher yielding varieties in the test. So if you'd like any other information on beef for forage production for Tennessee, make sure you check out our website, which is utbeef.com.